Okay, there we go. I'm not sure if you guys heard anything that I just said because my microphone, I noticed, was glitching out. So, this mural right here... definitely cause people to wonder. Now, one thing I found fascinating was, see these doors right here? Okay, they're on each side. They fold. They're folding doors. Kind of like some closet doors fold. Now, I thought this door was going to go up if it ever opens, but as I can tell now, it's going to open from the center and it's going to fold to the left and to the right. Now, to be honest, there's a lot of people been searching for this stuff for a long time, almost three years now, almost four. And um, there's a the camera right there, too. Whoa, it's like an indestructible camera. Let's see if it's really indestructible. Nope. Definitely not indestructible. Let's get the other one just for fun. There's probably one here too. Probably one on the other side too. Wait, I got that one already. That was where I started. That's right. So... Yeah. Now, since I got my hundred percent, I haven't um, I haven't even seen the UFO up here yet. So I'm gonna do that now. Kind of check it out. Okay, let's go to midnight, and then let's move the time until a UFO shows up. And boom. Hmm, how fascinating. So one thing I just noticed is if I actually freeze time in director mode, I can change the time of day, the lighting of everything. Well, wait, it still changes time of day. That must be some sort of glitch. I never noticed the FYB logo on the other helicopter, or on the other. UFO I noticed on this video or in past videos relating to this UFO I never saw the, U the FYB I thought that was the hippie camp one maybe this is a hologram of that one because yeah, it disappears now another thing I want to get to that I find really fascinating is something that Dibs Gaming pointed out and this is something also that True Star has been talking about and that there is if you notice here up this center line it's symmetrical imagery that's layered in here and that's that's a face right there. There's a bunch of faces all the way up. Something I just noticed that I never heard before was almost like I thought these were eyes. But those could almost be the nipples of a chest of this dude right here. And I almost see wings. Hmm. It's 
So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take sticky bombs and I'm just going to just going to cover this thing with sticky bombs. Just for fun, I'm gonna put one on this sucker too. Hmm. It went right through it. Did you see that? Hey, now there's one sticking on it. Oh, there was the UFO still. Now. Dibs pointed out the original ones down there below. Now, it was True Star. I gotta give a big shout out to him. Thank you, True Star. Love your videos, man. It continues. This symmetrical design, this pattern, all the way up. It actually goes all the way across, all the way down. Guess where it lines up? What does it line up with, guys? You know what it lines up with? The door. The big mystery door under there. Now, a lot of people have been talking about all kinds of different ideas. It seems as a community for Grand Theft Auto, we've been kind of fighting amongst ourselves a little bit about what's right, what's wrong, what ideas are accurate and what are not. I think we need to really stick together and we can figure this out. I mean, if there is anything to figure out, we can figure it out, but we gotta come together. Now, I'm fascinated by this part right here. It says, come back when your story is complete. Now, I've been curious if this mystery even is solvable. At least at the moment. Because I wonder if Rockstar Games actually have kept the final piece of this clue, or maybe a few, from being released so that We would continue playing the game. We would keep playing their game all the way until the release of Grand Theft Auto 6. If, of course, the next Grand Theft Auto is going to be called Grand Theft Auto 6. Some Grand Theft Auto titles don't have numbers. But... It, it's very possible that they're going to put it in as a DLC right at the last moment. And that's what this truly means. That once your story is complete, once you have seen and done everything that's physically and everything possible in Grand Theft Auto V, they're going to release the last things that you can possibly do. And when they do that, your story will be complete. But that's just a theory. Open to a lot of different theories. Another thing that was um, really cool that Trippy Commentary actually brought up is um, is this sign right here. Oh wait, it's not this one. It's this one. It says, Old Man's Crack. Okay, and then if you follow it down, oh, let's fix the weather. Okay, if you follow it down, that is the Altris camp down there. Where? Where is it at? Hold on, let me find it.
There. Right there. Altruist Camp. It is very possible it's pointing directly at that. And I have myself uh, just test it. I've, I've actually parachuted off of this right here. And it doesn't work when you just go um, uh, by foot. But if you actually take one of the motorcycles that are up top, and you drive one of those uh, down through this and then bail out and uh, base jump from there, then you actually can make it all the way to the Ultras camp. What that means, I'll let you decide. See, my method is I like to just take in all the details and just kind of be aware of all the different aspects and place we're coming from. I'm just checking these textures. Now, one thing I didn't do is uh, continue putting sticky bombs up on top because I got a little distracted. But I want to see what happens when you just take a sticky bomb and go all the way across. Oh wait, you know what? It's not really like it's layered on that part, but I shouldn't leave out right here. Oops. Because I should make sure to get underneath. Let's be really thorough. Be nice and thorough. And I'm just going to keep putting sticky bombs all the way up the top here. Oh, it says I've reached my maximum of 20 active explosives. Oh, that kind of sucks. That must be a director mode kind of thing. But let's just see what happens. Oh wow. You see that? It put a crack in the wall. It even put a crack on the air conditioning vent. Alright, let's put him up top. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe let's just forget about that. Since it doesn't seem to make much of a difference anyway. And it just kind of puts a crack in the wall. But that's fascinating. Maybe it does that up top. Oh. That is an interesting idea. Let's put it a charge at every point. Just for fun. And fire in the hole.
Now, I assume it's going to do nothing. Why? Why would it do something? It would be too simple. But that is fascinating. It puts a crack in it. It does put a crack in it. I think that's just like every wall maybe in this building. It just has that design. Like that it's supposed to crack when it has explosions on it. Oop. A little too close to that one. Yeah, it's typical. I'm going to see if there's just any textures that pop up if I do an explosion across the whole thing. Now that's interesting. Door is completely the same. Okay, so the walls, this, these walls seem to just, they seem to just crack. Like, that's a natural thing that they do when explosions happen on them. Whoa. Something I didn't catch before that I just learned. That symmetrical pattern goes all the way underneath as well. And you see how they got a little charred? That was fascinating. Actually got... Oh, wow. Did you see that, too? I blew up the entire thing over here. Like, I exploded almost every tile. And there was no charring, no blackness on the top. But look at that. I hit the symmetrical pattern right here, almost like this little face, and then it chars. Let's keep doing that. And I bet it goes under here, too. Yep, it's the same thing. So that's another big discovery. Now, as True Star calls it, he says that this is an enchantment. It's a spell. Enchantment spell. What do you think? Make sure to leave a comment in the section below and make sure to like this video if you want to see more content like this um, I'm going to be ending the video right now with that but um, there's a lot more that I actually have in my arsenal now I've been doing a lot of research and kind of testing stuff out um, and I was just waiting until I got to 100% to actually try stuff and, and mess with things because I felt like it wasn't going to matter um, if I didn't have 100% because I felt like that was something um, imperative to actually solving the mystery. Um, I feel like Rockstar would have done it that way. Almost like there's things that uh, triggers or things that aren't activated until the very second that you get 100% completion. 
But uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later on, and you have an awesome rest of your day.